right, you guys, it's been a hot minute since I have filmed a drugstore haul, but coming at you today, I have a drugstore haul for you. I've been watching like what's new at the drugstore videos a ton lately, and there are so many good things out there. So I definitely wanted to pick some up for myself and test it out. So I have some stuff from Walgreens, and then I have some stuff from Rite Aid. So I'm going to start with Rite Aid, because Rite Aid is actually going out of business. Walgreens purchased Rite Aid. So I don't know if this was all Wal um, all Rite Aids or just the one by me, but um, everything in that store was 70% off. I walked in and it just so happened to be like the last day that they were Rite Aid and then the next day they were transitioning over to Walgreens. And so every single thing in the store was marked down 70%. I guess I say that loosely because there was a few things that um, weren't, I don't know why, but for the most part the whole store was 70% off. So I picked up quite a bit. I also picked up, and this is just like the beauty related stuff, but they have, you know, it's right, it's a drugstore, so they had like cleaning supplies, so I picked up some like furniture polish, um, they had baby stuff, so I picked up some pacifiers, some bottles, like they, they were all 70% off and it was good stuff, so I was like, wow, this is so amazing. Um, but this is the beauty related stuff that I picked up from them. So the first thing I picked up, oh, here's a non-beauty, acetaminophen, <laughs> Tylenol. It was 70% off, so I picked it up. Um, yeah, here's my receipt. Everything was like super duper cheap, you guys. Like 50 cents, $1.99. This is by Redken, so they also sell high-end stuff like Redken there. Um, this is their conditioner in the extreme formula, the extreme conditioner. So this is supposed to be moisturizing, I believe. So it's supposed to detangle, strengthen, and protect distressed hair with the extreme hair care system. Um, there's protein in it. So you're supposed to use this as like a whole treatment thingy. I don't know. All they had was the conditioner, so I picked it up. I feel like you can never have too many conditioners. It smells really good. It smells really good. Almost like apples. It reminds me of my old hairstylist back in Arizona. She used to use Redken on me. And so anytime I have anything Redken, it just like reminds me of her. So yeah, I picked that up. Again, it was 70% off, which was amazing. Um, it's a 10. I picked up something from It's a 10. They have that at Rite Aid too. This is the Miracle Blow Dry Volumizer. So this is supposed to, a little alarm things over what it's supposed to do, but it's supposed to add volume, um, hold style, I believe, UV protectant, non-flaking, touchable thickness. So it's supposed to add thickness and volume to your hair, maybe use as a finishing spray. So I don't know. I thought this was kind of cool. I mean, it was 70% off. So I was like, let me try it. Oh, is it aerosol? It's not aerosol. I was thinking it would be. It smells like hairspray. It literally just smells like hairspray. This might be good when I curl my hair to kind of like zhuzh into the roots. Yeah, and it's sticky like hairspray. It's probably just hairspray. Then I picked up a couple of skincare things. So the first thing I picked up is the eye makeup remover. I want to say this, it's the Day Logic, which I think is a CVS brand. Um, it looks a lot like the Neutrogena, a lot like the Neutrogena one. I think this was supposed to be like their version of that. Oh yeah, it says compare to Neutrogena on it. Hmm. So yeah, it's oil free and it's supposed to help kind of remove your eye makeup. This was like a buck, so I figured I'd pick it up. And then the next thing is in my cellar cleansing water. So this is the Biore uh, baking soda all in one my cellar cleansing water. So I'm all about my cellar cleansing waters. This is another thing that you can use to remove your eye makeup, but this also removes all your makeup. Whereas this one you really want to just use on your eyes. So yeah, you could take it all off with a makeup pad and I haven't used a lot of Biore products, but it says specifically formulated for combination skin. It has baking soda in it and so it removes, it removes makeup, it's a cleanser and it's a refresher. So I don't know, I thought I'd check it out. Figured why not, right? So there's that. And then I picked up a few little makeup products from Rite Aid, two nail polishes. This is the C&D brand. C and D, yeah, C and D. I want to say, oh no, D and D is what they have in the nail salons. Anyways, um, my favorite, my favorite planner guru, former beauty guru, Elle Fowler, uses this one right here. It's in the color Cake Pop. It's just this beautiful, almost like whitish pink. And then I love red, so I picked these up too. Again, 75% off. So there's that. And then the last thing I got from Rite Aid is this Burt's Bees Gloss Crayon in the color Pink Lagoon. This, I feel like, was a steal. I found it, and I was like, oh my god. They still have something in the makeup section. Most of it was completely picked over. Like, 
totally picked over and I don't blame it. I mean, I was late to the boat, <laughs> but I kind of like found this hiding and I was like, oh, it's a lip product. So let me open this up. Oh, it's just like a pale, palish pink, pinky nude. That'll be good. It's a glossy lip cream, 100% natural. Bird's Bees has good stuff. Okay, so next over, oh, I forgot I put these in here. Okay, well, these are drugstore related, so let me tell you about them. I didn't get them at Walgreens. These were sent to me in PR by Revlon. So these are their brand new Hyper Matte, Hyper Matte Lip Mousse Lipsticks. And they sent me a bunch of colors. So I opened the package. I legitimately thought that these were tampons. I opened the package. It just came in like a bubble envelope. And I was like, oh my God, why is Revlon sending me tampons? Like I was so confused, but they just wrapped them in these little plastic things. So yeah, here's what they look like. Hyper Matte Intense Mousse, Lip Mousse. This is a beautiful color. Dusty Rose. I love rose colors. Ooh. They almost smell like fruity and vanilla. It's like they captured the best of both worlds. Like a strawberry and a vanilla all in one. The applicator is really cool. It's like a doe foot, but it has a little bit of a dip in it. Oh, that's a pretty color. It's definitely like a moussey texture. It reminds me a ton of, I'm going to put this one on. I don't have a mirror, so I'm going to use the viewfinder. It reminds me a lot of the Tarte. Tarte had like a lippy paint a while back that this reminds me of. You know what? I'm going to use <laughs> to make sure that that went on correctly. Ooh, okay. Not bad for applying with no mirror. That feels really nice on the lips and it's definitely a matte finish. So very cool. I think that's the whole point of these um, new lippies that they have is they're supposed to be like they're old. They have like, they have, Revlon has like, what am I trying to say? They had a product very similar to this. It even looked like this, but this is like their newer version of it. So Hyper Matte Intense Ultra HD Lip Mousse. Yeah, feels really nice. That color is beautiful. Um, the next one, ooh, another pretty shade. This one is in the color Sunset. Oh, they all smell so good. This is a really pretty, almost like corally red. I feel like it's thick enough to where it's not going to bleed everywhere and it gives pigment, but it's not going to dry out your lips. This one is in the color Crimson Sky. It's like a beautiful berry color. Ooh, this one's a little bit on the streaky side. Still really pretty though. Ooh, this one's like a purple. Death Valley. Uh, I'm not sure that I'll like this color. I feel like it might make me look dead. Um, and then this one's pretty. Spice. Packaging is nice too. It almost has like a soft matte texture, like the packaging itself. This one is pretty. I thought it was going to be more red based off of the packaging, but it's almost like a brown. See it right there? These are nice. I'm super excited to test these out. I'm going to figure out some more information on these and li link it in the description box down below as far as like how much they are. I think there was an insert in the package and I tossed it out. So I don't have much to tell you guys about it now except for I like the way that they look. They feel, they look and feel nice on my lips and they smell really good. So thank you Revlon for sending those over. I forgot to put those in this bag. Um, okay, so a couple more things that I got from Walgreens. Um, right here. So the first thing is a new product from Wet n Wild. It's their Photo Focus Rose Spray. So I love the scent of rose. I also love setting sprays and things like that. So this is a prep, set, and refresher by Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild has been killing the game lately, you guys. There's been so many people just like raving about their products. And so of course I wanted to get in on all the fun and test one out myself. This packaging is not very big. There's only 1.5 ounces in it. And usually sprays have a ton more. So that's a little bit like, hmm. But it's good because then I can test it out and not feel like I'm wasting a whole bunch. It smells very rosy. And then I picked up two other things that people have been talking about nonstop here on YouTube. So the first thing 
was open. Doesn't look like it was swatched though. Crap. <laughs> All right, so this is by Maybelline. This is one of their um, pure prismatic highlighters. My Walgreens only had this one color, so that's why I picked this one up. But people rave about this highlighter, you guys. So I'm pretty excited. It's soft. It's really soft. It has kind of chunky glitter in it, though. Uh, this just looks like glitter on my hand. I mean, yeah, you can't even see it. I don't know. I'm disappointed. It feels creamy though. It's weird. Like when you swatch it, it almost feels like a cream. And then it turns into a powder. I don't know. I'm going to have to put this on my face and make a decision after that. It's so hard to see. But people rave about these highlighters. So I wanted to test it out. This wasn't cheap either. It was also it was like 10 bucks. This one's in the color 50, by the way. I mean, it looks pretty when I get it on a glance. There's like a little bit of a pinky shift to it. I don't know. Um, okay, the last thing I got is by L'Oreal. It's their Infallible Foundation. People have been raving about this. Everyone loves this dang thing. So this is supposed to be a 24-hour fresh wear foundation. There is SPF 25 in it. It's supposed to be breathable. It's supposed to help with your texture. Um, and I want to say it's a natural finish. So that's always good. I got mine in the color 415 Rose Ivory. And I think this one, this one of course had a pink undertone, it has the word rose in the name, but this one had the like, seemed like it was going to match me the best, I don't know. That's a hard thing with drugstores, there's rarely testers, so this one has a pump too, which is super, super impressive. When you get a drugstore foundation with a glass bottle and a pump, it just feels so luxe and so high end. So yeah, I'll have to test this out, I might do like a wear test with this. I know tons of people already have done that, so let me know if you would even be interested in seeing that. But I just kind of want to do it for myself, so I'll film it if you guys want to see it. But yeah, people love this foundation. Like, people compare this to their favorite high-end foundations, which has me, like, <gasps> gasping. Like, I need to test that out. So yeah, those are the goodies that I picked up from the drugstore recently. I know there's a million new things out, and I could literally go crazy and buy a ton of stuff. But I'm trying to not buy too many things. I'm just... We're moving soon, so I don't want to have to pack all that stuff. And then it's kind of like, mm, I don't know, decluttering and like in this like low buy phase. So I don't want to get too much, but these were the things I was really excited about. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what new products at the drugstore you're excited about. Is there something that I missed? Is there something that's really exciting that I need to pick up? <sighs> let me know. But other than that, I think that's it. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.